What is going on guys? Welcome back to another episode of the ER Forum. So in today's video, we're gonna discuss the nurses that are making over $800,000 a year. Welcome to the episode. All right, hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the episode. So in today's video, I was scrolling through my feed on Instagram. I came across a video that was very intriguing. Uh, it's titled RN versus MD salary, 800K in one year as a nurse in Sacramento. Uh, and he emphasizes that this is not clickbait. So I thought this would be a great opportunity to review this video as I find this to be very interesting. I'm sure some of you guys do as well. So we're going to go ahead and dive into this video and see what it's all about. What is up guys? Jason here. Welcome back to the channel. We're back with another video and this week's video is going to be way better than last week's video but because I'm going to show you guys how nurses can make more money than doctors can and how a single nurse in my hospital system earned over $800,000 in a single year. If you like these type of videos and you want to follow the lifestyle of two nurses earning over $355,000 per year in Sacramento, California and two nurses that also want to retire in less than 10 years through the FIRE movement, then make sure you subscribe to our channel. Okay, so wow. So it looks like him and his wife combined make $350,000 a year living in Sacramento. So obviously these numbers are very inflated. Everyone knows California's cost of living is stupid, absolutely ridiculous. But um, I wanted to talk with you guys really quick. He mentioned the FIRE method, retiring early. So for those of you guys that don't know, FIRE stands for financial independence, retire early. Essentially what these people are doing is they're investing a lot of their money they're working a bunch saving up a bunch of money and investing this money into growth stock mutual funds some sort of retirement account uh where their money is compounding and essentially they have calculated out how much money they would need to live off of per year and be comfortable um they calculate that out they save that amount of money and they keep investing until they reach that mark then they retire they don't have to work another day in their life but they're living off of the interest and will never touch the principal balance that's actually there i can make a video about this going into further detail but essentially that's what it is so obviously this guy is working a bunch um trying to save up as much money as possible and attempting to live off of the interest that his investments are making so pretty smart guy already off the bat all right, guys, let's move on to the video. Can nurses make more than doctors? First, let's talk about the amount of hours that I currently work. I work 24 hours per week, each being eight hour shifts. Now, why did I accept a three days per week, eight hour shift position? Well, in California, we have California overtime laws. What does this mean? Okay, so these California overtime laws, they're a thing. So I looked this up. Um, it's pretty crazy, uh, you know, going through what I'm assuming, and I know he's going to go through is uh, discussing the California overtime laws. But uh, I think if a lot of other states uh, piggybacked off of this law, a lot of nurses around the country would be making very good money on top of, in my opinion, the good money that they're already making. So let's go ahead and hear uh, what the California laws specifically are. In California, if you work more than eight hours in a single day. Okay, so if you work more than eight hours in a day, you get time and a half. Wow, okay, so more than 40 hours, non-overtime hours a week, you get time and a half. Hours worked on the seventh consecutive day in a work week, time and a half. This one's interesting. It's more than 12 hours in a whole day, you get paid double time. Okay, so. I'm assuming somewhere in here, either him or the person that's making $800,000 a year is working more than 12 hours a day to um, collect that double time. So we'll see. We know that how can nurses earn more than doctors or even a surgeon? Well, I work three eight hour shifts, but because we get paid time and a half, I always pick up an extra four hours per shift. That means my first day on, I'm getting paid my base pay for the first eight hours. That's what you see. Whoa! Okay, so this guy's base pay is $93.70 an hour. <laughs> um, this is very interesting. So 
I can tell you guys right now, there isn't any nurse in Las Vegas that's making $93.70 an hour. Um, that's a staff nurse, like someone on the floor, a BSN nurse. Uh, this is obviously extremely inflated. I don't know the cost of living in Sacramento. Um, it's in California, so I know it's a lot higher than it is in Vegas. But wow, that's very impressive. We also don't know um, how many years of experience this gentleman has, the department in which he works, the um, time of the day in which he works. If he works graveyard, usually they compensate you more for that. If he works weekends, usually they compensate you more for that, um, et cetera, et cetera. But so far, I am very, very impressed. Here in pink, from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m., I'm getting paid my base rate of $93.70 per hour. Any time after that is going to be paid at time and a half of $140.55 per hour. So if you look here on a seven day work week, I'm working three days a week making $3,935. I work 24 hours at my base pay and 12 hours at time and a half. That means that in a year, I will be making $204,640. Okay, so this guy's obviously very smart. Um, really taking advantage of this overtime rule. So he's working his eight hour shift. On top of that, he's scheduling himself for an additional four hours on top of that. That's being paid time and a half. So now he's getting paid $140.55 an hour for the remaining four hours. And he's doing that for three consecutive days. And by doing so, this gentleman's making over $200,000 a year. Very impressive seeing that he's still only working 36 hours a week. I can tell you right now, I was working 36 hours a week. Majority of the nurses in this country work 36 hours a week because we work 312s and are making nowhere near $204,000. Um, I worked 36 hours a week back in Vegas. I was making uh, roughly somewhere around the 90K range. I think it was like 93,000 or something like that. Working 36 hours a week. And so basically he is more than doubled my salary. Um, obviously a lot of factors play into this cost of living is one of them but uh, very impressive obviously a very very intelligent individual but let's move up to the next tier because I work with nurses that work three 16 hour shifts per week okay so right off the bat obviously these people are gonna be making significantly more right so they're taking advantage of both the double or the both the time and a half pay along with the double pay so using his hourly rate um, after eight hours, they get paid $140.55 an hour. And then it looks like after the 12 hour mark, they'd be getting paid double. So $187 an hour. Wow. Very, very cool. Now, how much can you earn per year if you do this? Let's break this down. Okay, so let's say you come in your first day, you're making $93.70 per hour for the first eight hours. Then you're making $140.55 per hour for the next four hours because you're getting paid at time and a half. And then for the other four hours, because this is a 16 hour shift, you are getting paid $187.40 per hour because those hours are going to be paid at double your regular rate. So if you work 16 hours every single day for three days in one single week, $798 per month and $321,578 in one year. Over $300,000 a year. Wow. Okay, so yeah, he's right. These people who are making over $300,000 a year as a nurse working 48 hours a week, so three 16-hour shifts, are making the same, if not more, than some physicians in this country. Now remember, going to medical school, it costs a significant amount of money as well as a significant amount of time. So I don't know. I don't know how much the physicians are making in this area either. I'm assuming if the um, nursing pay is this inflated, maybe the physician pay is uh, equally as inflated. Um, but if you're just comparing it to a countrywide average, these nurses are certainly making more than some physicians throughout this country. That is insane. It just goes to show you how, well, We'll go, we'll go into more detail after the end of this video. Okay, so before he goes to the next tier, I'm assuming the person that makes $800,000 a year is working, okay, so he $321,000 a year, working three days a week, 16 hour a day. So if you double that, 
So you do six 16 hour days, that's what, $642,000? Okay, so this person's definitely working over six days a week, AKA they're working every single day. This nurse is known for working every single day of the year. She works 16 hour shifts every single day. I am not kidding when I say that because- I Okay, so let's think about this guy. 16 hours a day, there's only 24 hours in a day. That only leaves eight hours to get sleep, but you still have to drive home. You still have to uh, change, shower, eat, and drive back to work the next day. So these people are definitely not getting the recommended seven to eight hours of sleep per day. Um, wow, that is absolutely insane. I mean, working the three 16 hours, uh, three 16 hour shifts is pretty crazy, but seven 16 hour shifts? I don't know guys. Leave it in the comment section, what do you think? Some days we see her sleep in the parking lot and come back to work three to four hours later. I wonder if she has a comfortable car. She probably can afford a very comfortable car. Probably sleeps in her Bentley in the parking lot. <laughs> if you look at this chart, this nurse is just getting paid time and a half and double time for every other day. And then we are going to repeat this cycle, not the run pace cycle. So let's go through this. This nurse is getting paid 24 hours of her regular rate of $93.70 per hour. Now she actually gets paid more than I do. She gets paid more than he does. Okay, so there's people that are making more than $93.70 an hour. I'm assuming she has more experience than he does, or she works in a different department, or she works a different shift. Wow, that's crazy. Hmm, interesting. Then she is earning 60 hours at time and a half, and she is earning 28 hours at double her regular rate. She is working a total of 112 hours per week. She's earning $15,929 per week and she's bringing in $69,000 per month, guys. That is insane. But that is a rough estimate of exactly how much she is bringing in per month. At this rate, she is also bringing in $828,308 per year. Over $800,000 a year roughly $830,000 a year this nurse is making. Uh, so now we're talking definitely above the average physician salary, definitely above an orthopedic surgeon salary on average, a radiologist salary on average, a plastic surgeon on average. I mean, this is probably somewhere around the average neurosurgeon salary. I don't know. I don't really know the salaries of physicians on average, but I can assure you she's making more than majority of the physicians in this country. And even if she were to take vacation of four weeks, she would be bringing in $764,592 per year. Depending on the hospital system you work for in California and how many hours you're willing to put in, you could be earning over $800,000 per year. Now, I don't have the willpower, nor am I willing to sacrifice my sanity to work that many hours, which is Okay guys, so I think we got the gist of this video. Let's talk about it a little bit. Um, the importance of this video, and the reason why I wanted to make it is because, wow, I think this is extremely awesome. You know, I, I, I absolutely love seeing nurses just rack up money. Like, I'm so happy for this guy, man. And you know, I to confirm these numbers, I asked a buddy of mine who I worked with in the ER in Las Vegas. Um, he works in a different area in California, and he said in 2020 he made around $400,000 that year in 2020. Um, so these numbers are definitely not made up. Uh, this is a real thing here in California. There are certainly nurses that are making this kind of money. Um, he also worked a bunch and um, says he got really burnt out doing that. But the point is, is there are so many ways to make money in this country and it really makes you think about your career paths because there are people making this kind of money even more than this kind of money who didn't even graduate high school and so medicine you need to be very careful in any career you need to be very careful as to why you're going into it um, if money is the only driving factor then we need to start discussing different avenues because medicine is certainly not the best option for you if you're just trying to make money. I mean, that nurse is working 
16 hours a day and she's working every single day and it sounds like a lot because it is a lot but let's be honest there are residents who are in surgical residency who are working those kind of hours and are getting paid nowhere near the kind of money she's getting paid and probably won't get paid anywhere near that kind of money when they finish residency so and and they have hundreds and hundreds of thousands of dollars in student loan debt they're also a lot older um, I don't know how old this nurse was who's making $800,000 a year, but very impressed and awesome, awesome video, guys. Like I said, I absolutely love hearing about nurses just killing the game and making all kinds of money, and this guy is no different. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'm going to leave a link down to Jason's video in the description here. If you guys want to go check out the video for yourself, don't forget to follow my scrub brand on Instagram at Bioxmed. should be launching hopefully next year sometime. And uh, follow my personal Instagram as well. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, don't forget to punch that like button and kick that subscribe button. And do the same to uh, Jason here for an awesome, awesome video. So really hope you guys enjoyed this video. We will see you in the next one.